First the air raid sirens, next the frantic spotlight searches, then the explosions, lighting up dawn skies like the middle of the day. This is part of an enormous wave of Russian strikes on Kyiv, Kharkiv and other Ukrainian cities in the last five days. Combined, the largest air attack since the almost two-year-old war began. Different types of missiles were used. In Kharkiv, fragments identified. In craters so large, ladders needed to access them. The mix of ordnance designed to confuse and exhaust Ukraine's air defence systems. In Kyiv, the mayor ran through the list against the backdrop of the damage they did. Kyiv was hit with a combined attack of Shahid drones, cruise missiles, hypersonic Kinjal missiles. We're in Solomyansky district. You can see a large blast crater 10 metres across. There will have been a lot of casualties. Five people were killed, around 100 injured. Dozens of homes destroyed this morning as people left for work or school. And as always, personal things retrieved, normality's umbilical cords, whether it's a picture, a religious icon, or a pet. Anna Savenka's flat was destroyed, describes this morning as a horror, and asks, why is this happening? <laughs> What's happened is a pure terror. There is no military building or military station, anything military nearby. Kira Rudik is a Ukrainian MP. We've interviewed her several times on the program after strikes on Ukraine. This morning, though, the windows and doors of her own apartment in Kyiv were blown in. You know, as a citizen, as a human, you can be training, you can be supporting your army, but there is absolutely nothing that you can do against the huge pile of metals that is coming from the, from the air, from the sky to, to kill you and everything that you love. The majority of the missiles fired at Ukraine were taken out by the country's air defence systems. Here, for example, a projectile falls out of the sky into the water of the Dnipro River, Kyiv. As well as retaliation for recent Ukrainian strikes, this morning's bombardment is part of a renewed Russian offensive along sections of the front line. The Russians released this footage today, said the attacks this morning targeted munitions supplied by Ukraine's Western allies. The Kremlin is playing the long game here, banking on Western divisions affecting weapon supply. They see the gap of uh, the gap in supplies, and they see for them the opportunity uh, because of these postponed decisions uh, with the uh, with the support, and uh, they obviously wait for the wave of election uh, in in United States and Europe. Air raid sirens also sounded across the border in Russia today. Ukraine targeted the city of Belgorod for the second time this week. And the new year begins as the old one ended in another cycle of retaliation.